Welcome back to Focus Hive. Thank you so much again for joining in with me, Ravi Varma, your host. So if you're following along, you already know that we are doing a series on Complaint is a Gift. And what we're trying to do is look at some models, some tools, some methods with which we can take feedbacks, receive complaints, and then turn them around into gifts for ourselves, for our businesses, and grow. That's the whole idea. And in today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to look at one such tool, which is called as active listening. Think of a situation when so, when someone has come up to you and they're trying to explain their problems, complaining about the situation, and you're zoned out. As if you've slept through the whole conversation. And when you return back, you have no idea of what was discussed. So what do you do? You ask stupid questions, which basically lets the other person know that you were not listening. And what happens is, they think, really? Really? Were you even listening? That's very important, right? It is really critical to do active listening when we are trying to capture or when we are working towards receiving feedbacks. So when somebody's talking to you and you're able to hear all of that, that's basically hearing, right? Congratulations, your ears are working. But if you're not able to constructively respond to that discussion, uh, participate in that discussion, you are really not listening to whatever has been talked about so far. So my parents always taught me something that is really interesting. They always said, use your ears and your mouth in a certain ratio, which is two is to one, which means listen twice, speak once, which means the twice the effort in listening, twice the effort in hearing, twice the effort in understanding what the other person is saying. Once you've processed all of that, only then you speak, which means speak less, hear, listen more. And that is the basic mantra in active listening. If you're going to use these two devices that God has given you in that specific ratio, which is two is to one, you'll always be able to do active listening to a certain extent. Now, there are certain behavioral aspects that you got to work on when you're kind of really working on improving your active listening. So what is active listening? I've been saying active listening multiple times, but what is it really? If you have watched the video from Simon Sinek, he specifically defines active listening as the art of listening. It is not something for faint-hearted. It is an art, period. It has it. Ne it requires some artistry to it. You cannot just sit and listen and say I'm li active listening. That's called hearing. And and he goes on to explain the whole nine yards of it. From my point of view, there are certain things that we have to do uh, while we are talking to someone, while we are actually accepting or or getting feedback from somebody. There's one important aspect that I wanted to kind of share through this video which I learned from one of my voice and accent trainer. His name was Mr. Uh, Rohit Muthanna. A very important aspect of conversation is something that he taught us. He used to say that we use fillers. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I know. It's when we're not giving full attention, as and I am going to give you examples from support industry because I've been there for almost 20 years now. So a classic example would be like you're talking to someone, but you're typing. You're typing something. And as a support engineer, you would do that more often than not as just documenting everything that you are talking with your customer. So what happens inherently, you continue to type on your screen and your customer is saying something to you and you say, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. But possibly you've missed some of the critical information while you were just trying to capture everything that you were listening from the customer. 
So what he suggested is stop multitasking. When you're listening or when somebody is complaining to you, you don't have to write it. You don't have to make a note of it. Give your full attention to that person. So when you give full attention to that person, you will by default stop using these ahas and uhus. Just use the right words, full words, full statements, uh, which pretty much lets the other person know that you're giving full attention, you're listening to them. Try the try this hack for sure for yourself. Try this hack at whenever you are in a situation where you have to receive feedback. Try this with your customers, your friends, your colleagues, whoever you're, uh, whoever you're working with, right? Very important. And I've seen the difference. I can guarantee you will see the difference as well. Uh, if you're in a setting where you are talking to someone face to face, eye contact is important. Uh, your body language is important, which is reflecting the body language of the other person. Uh, if you're not in a setting where you are face to face, if you're on a Zoom call or a or a voice call, then you have to respond to the person in between the gaps of statements that the person is saying so that they know that you're listening. And that's when they would continue to share more. Uh, if they f if if the person for a microsecond feels that they are not being heard, they they will stop sharing. They will not even explain anything to you. Rather, they would say, can I speak to your manager? Or they would just go back quiet. You won't get your feedback that you were looking for. It is It is human to react. It is very human to react. Somebody comes and shouts at you, tendency would be to react. But you have to hold yourself. You have to stop yourself. You have to uh, make yourself accustomed to these situations where you are able to respond versus react. This is another important aspect in active listening, that, that you're able to respond to their complaints versus react to their complaints. Because when you are reacting, you are basically responding to the emotion. When you are responding, you are actually responding to the situation. So it's, it's very critical for you to understand and then use all these formulas put together. You would see a difference in your way of handling of complaints, which is critical in converting all our complaints into gifts. So just to kind of summarize, what we spoke about is using our tools that God has given us in a ratio of two is to one, which means two ears, hear twice, one mouth, speak once. The second one is to stop using fillers, start using proper sentences, proper words, it takes effort, I know, been through that exercise, but it definitely helps stop yourself, hold yourself from reacting to emotions versus work towards responding to situations because you want to resolve the situation. You don't want to react to an angry emotion or a sarcastic emotion, right? You don't need to do that. There is no fun in it. Yeah, and finally, you have to let the person know what you have heard, what you have understood, so that they know that everything that they said, you understood, and then you give them the opportunity to correct yourself, if by any chance you've missed anything. But it has to be from your heart. It, it cannot be a robotic script. It has to be from your heart, which is when the other person will know that, no, even if he has not heard everything or even if he didn't get all the facts right, the person has a genuine interest in knowing my grievances. Robotic scripts, fakeism, 
will not help you at this situation. And if you use these formulas, I'm sure you will master the art of active listening. And uh, that will ensure that your customers, your friends, whoever you're talking to, they feel heard and they open up and share more with you. With that, I would say thank you so much for joining in. Now is the time to click on the like button, hit the share button. And if you have not subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe the channel because I am sharing videos every week for you to learn from. And thank you so much for joining in this week. Have a great day. Catch you again. Ta-da, bye-bye.